Hello ladies and gentlemen, um, just coming on to do a bit of a catch up, bit of a vlog, a uh, bit of bubbles. <laughs> um, I've been a little bit here well, so I thought I'd do a bit of a, bit of a, a non-crafty project kind of catch up. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been a bit here well because I've had a few things going on and also I've been preparing my shop for being shut this week because I'm having an, a week off well when I say a week off what I mean is <laughs> because I found that um with my shop it's never a day off because uh, ladies uh, just order all the time um but I've wound it down this week and told ladies that if they order this week it won't be dispatched until next week because I've got the craft show in Birmingham on Thursday and then Friday through Monday um, Alexia's dad, um, my little girl's daddy has paid for us to go to Euro Disney so I'm off to see Mika and Minnie so I'm far too busy, going to be far too busy for crafting <laughs> I can't wait, it's going to be awesome um, but there's just a few things in all seriousness that I wanted to talk about. First of all, can you please make sure you sub to my lovely friend who is Betsy Doodle. She has started up Crafter of the Week, whereby she introduces um, new crafters, maybe not so well known, maybe they are well known, but you know, just ladies that she wants to introduce. Now, she might not do it every week, she said, but I mean, it's worth a worth a, a watch, isn't it, to, to find new people to inspire us because it can get a bit stale, can't it? <laughs> you know, and you like that flicking through your feed. Come on, I want something new to watch. <laughs> so that can only be a good thing. The other thing that I want to talk about, which is super exciting, is a new group on Facebook that my friend Emily has um, created. And it is called Pocket Letter UK. Now the pocket letters have come over from America, I, I it, it's not my thing, I'm not a massive paper crafter, I might have a go, but it's not my thing, so I don't know the names of who who um, started it off, or where it's come from, I know it's come from America, um, so please don't think I'm rude if I don't say the name of the person who first ever did it, because I don't know, <laughs> I don't know who first ever did it. But my friend Emma, like she, she saw the this new phenomenon and she joined an American group, and it didn't quite work out for her for one reason and another. And so she thought, well, I'll start my own. And to be honest, the response she's had has been amazing. She's got loads of ladies that have joined because you know there's lots of people that want to do these pocket letters. If you're like me and you're a bit of a paper crafting like. No, no, and you don't really know what one is. Or you fancy having a go and you've heard about them. Just type into your YouTube search bar, pocket letters. Several videos have come up, will come up. More than like, like some from America. You may find the one from the lady who first brought them over. I'm not sure what, because as I said, I don't actually know what she's called. Somebody wants to leave a comment below. That would be really awesome. Um, but you'll also probably come across some videos from Emily because she's been putting hers up as she's been doing them. And the group is moderated by admin. I'm one of them. <laughs> and um, But they are based one-on-one. -on -one. So you find a partner for yourself and swap for yourself. So, you know, so it's all down to you and up to you. Um, uh, what else did I want to talk about? There was something else. Oh, yes. Natasha's scrapbooking corner. Natasha did it uh, on Natalia. And I, I never know how to say her name properly. Um she hosted um, an event a, like a challenge where ladies could send a card a thank you card to their favorite online star um now that event has come to an end i will leave a link below to the video um where she's bringing it to an end and you know she lists all the ladies who entered and she lists all the stars that received goodies and i received this lovely fabric pocket from um, from Debbie, who's Dewdrop Gables, and a beautiful card which um, I think I've put it put it away in my special box because it's not I can't see it on my desk, so I've obviously put it away somewhere. Um, and I, I, you know, I was so thrilled um, that uh, Debbie thought of me, and I, so I want to say a massive thank you to Natasha for hosting that challenge. It's super super thoughtful. 
um, I'm really, really kind of her to take time out because I know that she's really busy. Um, so I'll leave a link, go on over, um, check out Natasha, check out, check out her amazing shop. I've had a look. I don't buy an awful lot from abroad because of the postage, you know. Um, although I should do to be supportive, but um, so I might look into it. But her shop, is absolutely amazing she has got everything it's like a superstar it's huge <laughs> she's just got everything so go in over and have a nose there so it's awesome you could spend all day just looking in her shop um so yeah big thank you to natasha for that and i'm sure there was something else i wanted to talk about oh yes i've reached over a thousand subbies <laughs> forgot about that and um, so um, I was going to do a big giveaway as soon as I hit a thousand subbies, but I had a bit of a troll incident last week. I'm getting, the trolls have stopped now. I'm feeling a bit lonely actually. So if anybody wants to troll me, you know, because I'm feeling a little bit like left out. I've lost, I've had two ladies that I've tried to blacken my name now, you know, and that I've um, either left snide comments on the videos or in comments to other people or I've sent nasty emails to people telling them to unsub me or direct trolling on my wall. <laughs> now, neither one of these ladies has succeeded in affecting my subbies in any way. So I am now well over a thousand. And so to thank all of my wonderful subbies, my beautiful friends, my fantastic customers and all the support. I've had so many personal messages of support from ladies. It is unbelievable really 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 is humbling to know that um you know because <clears throat> i do have a bit of a mouth unfortunately it, do, it does sometimes get me into trouble but i'm not nasty with it you know if i think somebody is being mean and horrible i will tell them they're being mean and horrible especially if they're being mean and horrible to somebody who can't defend themselves and that's what happened this time and i stuck up for a lady who probably isn't an angel nobody's an angel but in this instance she was wronged very very much and i stuck up for her and the backlash of that was that i got trolled severely trolled and a lot of my friends got trolled and these two ladies who are large crafters were in support of each other and you know it just goes to show you know it's a shame that we have this but i will not ever give up standing my ground when it comes to people who are being horrid to others i am do not entice others to do it i have been accused of egging folk on which is absolutely ridiculous grown women cannot be egged on we are not at school but i just want to say you know anybody who is, feels intimidated on youtube stand your ground and speak up and don't allow it you know and they get flushed out and then people see them for what they are and they're the losers, not us. Okay, so don't ever back down because I never will. Um, you know, there's no need to be nasty. You can say what you need to say without being nasty. And I'm not nasty, but I am firm. And I will tell ladies if, they, if I think they are, you know, not being fair on other people. I'll tell them I'm afraid because that is my principle. I won't, I, I won't allow other people to be picked on. You know, you can pick on me all day long, it makes no difference. I think it's quite funny, actually. And like I say, now my trolling's done, I'm feeling a little bit like, you know, Billy No Mates. I'm not getting any messages anymore. I'm not getting nasty comments. <laughs> but anyway, by the by, it's annoying. But you know, you, you've not got to let it get to you and upset you because it is immaturity. It really is. Um, you know, and we've got a lovely, lovely community and I'm going to do a huge giveaway as a big thank you to everybody that stood by me this last few weeks to show my appreciation. And uh, as I say to all my customers, if you're watching, the shop has wound down this week. You can order from Backstock. But as soon as I come back, I've got I've got it all here already. I've already been and bought it all. I've bought loads of new stuff. So it's going to be one big massive selling event when i get back and so you're going to be rubbing your hands together and they're going to be sat there waiting and it's so exciting and um so i'll see you when i get back thanks for watching take care be nice to each other and look after your fellow crafters bye for now